starting to move down on our backs. Allowing our knees to fall open with gravity. Allowing our shoulders to fall open with gravity as well. And as you breathe, breathe in through the belly, up through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to the tops of your throats. And then exhale in the opposite direction from the tops of your throats, down through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to your bellies, as though you're bringing water from a washcloth, bringing navel into spine. Again, perhaps place your right hands on your belly and your left hands on your hearts to track the breath as it moves through your bodies. And let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. Again, inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. One more time, inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Now allow your breathing to come naturally to its own rhythm. Allow the warmth of your breath to go to any area of your body that is tense or sore and allow the breath to relieve the tension or soreness that is there. Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distressing thoughts or feelings that you may have, allow them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm knowing that you are in control at all times. Connect with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. Seal that intention with one deep inhale and one deep exhale. Good job. Inhale those knees and arms to center. Exhale knees to the left, arms to the right. Look over that right shoulder and breathe, breathing into this simple twist, opening up those right obliques, and smile. Slow 
slowly inhale back to center and exhale, knees to the right, arms to the left. Look over that left shoulder and breathe, breathing into those left obliques. Again, releasing toxins, massaging our internal organs. Slowly inhale back to center, wrap your arms around your knees, grab opposite elbows, rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys, and then grab your insteps, drag your knees down towards your shoulder blades, push up with your feet, pull down with your hands, sing happy baby. Again, rocking back and forth if this is in your practice, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys. And again, if this is in your practice, touch first one knee and then the other to the mat. Good job. And then from here, cross that right leg over left, wrap your feet, right arm under left, wrap your arms. These are eagle arms, eagle legs, dragging those shoulders back and down as much as you can. Inhale first, exhale, as you draw those elbows to your knees, inhale, touch those fingers and toes to the mat, exhale, elbows to knees, inhale back. Exhale, elbows to knees. Inhale, back. Exhale, elbows to knees. Either one more or six more, depending on where you are in your practice. Inhale, back. Exhale, forward. Empty yourself to breath. Inhale, back. Exhale, forward. Inhale, back. Exhale forward, inhale back, exhale forward, two more if you're following, inhale back, exhale forward, inhale back, and exhale forward, unwrap, unwind, give yourselves a hug. I'd like to quickly just wish Lynn Hollihan a happy birthday. It's her birthday today. I didn't have time to before we started. I hope it's absolutely wonderful. Cross that left leg over right, wrap your feet, left arm under right, wrap your arms. Inhale as you touch your fingers and toes to the mat. Exhale, elbows to knees. Inhale, back. Exhale, elbows to knees, eagle crunches. Inhale, back. Exhale, elbows to knees. Two more or seven more. Inhale, back. Exhale, elbows to knees. Inhale, back. Exhale, elbows to knees. You can either stop or follow us. Inhale, back. Exhale, elbows to knees. Inhale, back. Exhale, elbows to knees. Inhale, back. Exhale, elbows to knees. Two more. Inhale, back. Exhale, elbows to knees. Inhale, back. And exhale, elbows to knees. Good job. Unwrap, unwind. Give yourself a hug. Exhale, that left leg down. Inhale, that right arm up overhead. Exhale, as you push that right knee over to the left. Look over to the right. Opening up those hips as we do. Breathing in. Inhale, 
inhale those knees back to center. Exhale that right leg down. Inhale that left arm up overhead. Exhale as we push that left knee over to the right. Look over to the left. And opening up those hips as we do. Inhale, both knees back to center. Exhale as we release them to the end of the mat. Roll over onto your left side. Left elbow, left palm of your hand down. Inhale that right knee in. Grab onto your instep. Exhale, extend above you. Breathing in and out, dragging that right shoulder back and down as much as possible. And smile. Inhale that right knee in. Exhale, extend below you, roll over onto the right side. Right elbow, right palm of your hand down. Inhale that left knee in, grab your instep. Exhale, extend above you. Dragging that left shoulder back and down. behind your thighs, spinal rolls from shoulder to tailbone and back again, allowing each vertebrae to come back into alignment. We'll do three or four of these, and then arrive at the tops of our mats in Sukhasana, simple seated pose. Sitting up straight, place your hands on your knees, inhale that left arm all the way up. Exhale down to the right, onto that right elbow. Look up towards the ceiling. Drag that left shoulder back and down. Keep your left hip down and smile. Again, opening up those left obliques as much as possible. Open the shoulders and the hips. Inhale back to center. Exhale first. Inhale that right arm up. Exhale down to the left, onto that left elbow. Look up towards the ceiling. Drag that right shoulder back and down. Drag that right hip down and smile. Good job. Inhale back to center. Exhale first. Inhale that right foot up on top of your left thigh. Half lotus position. Again, if this is impossible, just place that right foot out in front of your left foot. Wherever you are is perfect. I'm going to scooch back just a little bit. Inhale both of those arms all the way up above you. Exhale, fold forward, hinge at the hips, reach, 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 crowns of your heads are extending, place your fingertips on the mat and drag yourselves down, your heart comes down towards your mat, opening up that lower back, opening up your shoulders and your hips, maybe placing your third eye on the mat and rocking it back and forth. Opening it up. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you walk them to the right, grabbing onto the right knee with your left hand, bringing that right hand back, or maybe rocking forward, taking a bind, grabbing onto that right foot. And breathe. We're bringing out our entire 
internal organs, releasing toxins as we do. Inhale back to center. Place your knee in the crook of your right hand, or right arm, excuse me. Your foot in the crook of your left arm, rocking the baby, bringing your calf as parallel as possible to the mat, opening up that right hip as you do. Good job, everyone. And then take the sole of your foot in the crook of your hands. Inhale first. Exhale as you extend that leg, dragging your shoulders back and down. Sitting up straight, breathing in and out. Take that left hand, place it on the right side of your foot and open up to the back of the room. Extending that right arm as far back as you can. Looking back to the back of the room, if this is in your practice, again, twisting, releasing toxins. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you bend that right leg. Good job. Inhale that left foot up on top of your right thigh. We're in half lotus if this is impossible. Place it just in front of your right foot. Either way is perfect. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward, hinge at the hips. Reach, 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 as far as you can. Drag your heart down towards the mat. Open up that lower back region. Open up your shoulders and your hips. Maybe place that third eye on the mat. Rock back and forth. Massage your third eye. And slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you walk them to the left. Grab onto the left knee with your right hand. Bring that left hand back. Or maybe rock forward and take a bind. Grabbing onto that left foot. Again, releasing toxins. Massaging your internal organs. But you have to remember to breathe. And again, remember to drink lots of water after any practices with twists. Inhale back to center. Place your left knee in the crook of your left arm. Left foot in the crook of your right arm. Rocking the baby. Again, opening up that left hip this time. Bringing that calf as parallel as possible to the mat. Place the sole of your foot in the crook of your hands. Inhale first. Exhale, extend. Drag those shoulders back and down. Sit up straight. Breathing in and out. Take your right hand and place it on the left side of your foot. Open up to the back of the room, twisting, releasing toxins. Again, extend that left arm behind you. If this is in your practice, I don't have enough room here. You have room behind you. And breathe. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you release that foot. Place the soles of your feet together, knees out wide. Drag those heels towards your sit bones as much as possible. We're in Baddha Konasana once again. Place your hands over your toes and place your elbows just below your ribs, sitting up straight. Inhale first. Exhale as you fold forward, hinge at the hips. Flat back, walk 
walk those hands out and draw yourselves as far as you can down towards the mat. You might be on your elbows. You might be farther down. Wherever you are is perfect. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you cross your feet in Sukhasana. Place your fingertips on the mat on either side of you. Inhale that right arm all the way up. Grab that left ear and exhale over to the right. Breathing in and out. Opening up that left side of your neck. Keep your left fingertips on the mat. Don't go too far. Inhale that right arm up. Exhale down. Inhale that left arm up. Wrap your head. Find that right ear and exhale over to the left. Breathing in and out. Inhale that left arm up. Exhale down. Place your hands on the mat in front of your feet. Roll up into table. In table, our shoulders are above our wrists. Our hips are above our knees. And if we look between our legs, we shouldn't see our feet. Inhale first. We cow, drag your spines down. Look up towards the ceiling, opening up those spines. Exhale. To cat, dragging our spines up, gazing at our navels. Exaggerate the motions, bend your elbows as you transition. Inhale. The cow, look up towards the ceiling, drag those spines down. Exhale. To cat, gazing at our navels, dragging those spines up towards the ceiling. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Cat, good job. Come back to a flat back. Inhale that right arm all the way up. Exhale, cross under, coming down onto that right shoulder. Keep your hips square to the front of the room. Thread the needle. Inhale that left arm up. If this is in your practice, bend your elbow. Find that right hip crease and breathe. Again, breathing in to thread the needle, opening our hearts to the side wall through the breath. And smile. Good job. Inhale that left arm up. Exhale down. Inhale that right arm all the way up. Exhale down. Good job. Inhale that left arm all the way up. Exhale as you thread it under. Coming down onto that left shoulder. Keep those hips square to the front of the room. Inhale that right arm up. Bend your elbow. Find that left hip and breathe. Breathing in to thread the needle. Opening our hearts to the side wall through the breath. Inhale that right arm up. Exhale down. Inhale that left arm all the way up. And then from here, let's go ahead and curl those toes under, sit back on our heels, making infinity symbols with our wrists, opening up those toes, opening up our wrists, 
breathing in and out. And again, we're here for about a minute. Exhale, 
now pushing back, drawing those hips all the way up to down dog. Inhale through your noses, side out, inhale. One more time, inhale. Rotate forward into plank once again. Place that left hand on the mat in the middle. Rotate over, facing the right side. Again, you can do this. You can also have that left knee down. Wherever you are is perfect. Possibly draw that right arm overhead. Possibly lift that right foot. Flexing it. And then rotate over and forward. Draw those elbows in. Inhale first. Exhale, slowly chaturanga down. Inhale up, cobra. Drag those shoulders back and down. Drag those hips down as well. Curl your toes under, exhale back to down dog. Walking the dog, good job. Come up on your tippy toes, bend your knees, and either step or jump up. Inhale, halfway up. The Ardha Tadasana. Exhale, down to Uttanasana. Inhale, all the way up. Swan dive backwards. Hands come together. Slide back in. And hands come to Anjana Mudra. Bowing our heads in honor of our practices. Let's do some balance. I'm going to adjust the camera just slightly. Standing at the tops of your mats or in Tadasana, mountain pose. Growing all four corners of our feet into the mat. Lift your toes, shoulders are back and down. Finding a drishti or a focal point. Calf muscles moving in, thighs are moving in. Pelvis down the back, abdomen is in. Our shoulders are back and down. And the crowns of our heads are moving towards the heavens. Hands are open to receive. Again, in Tadasana, you should feel as though you can hold this for two days and never get tired. So if you feel you might get tired, make an adjustment wherever that is. Hands come to Anjana Mudra. Come up on that right tippy toe. Draw your right heel to your left ankle, to your left calf, or all the way up to your left thigh in Drikshasana A, B, or C, tree pose. Throw those branches overhead into Kalasana or palm tree. First of all, let's have our pinky fingers in. Draw those hands together, Utita. And exhale down. Draw that knee to a marching position. Flex your foot. Draw those arms overhead as you inhale into stork. Pinky fingers in. Hands come together, Utita, and down, exhale now. Take a giant step back with that right foot. Your foot is at a diagonal, 45 degree angle, moving into pyramid. Hands come back to Venus Mudra. Inhale first, shoulders back and down. Exhale, fold forward. Hinge at the hips over that left thigh, chin to shin, dragging those wrists towards the center of the room. If this is in your practice, keeping those hips squared in pyramid. Draw 
draw them back towards your waist, release, place them on either side of that left foot, inhale, halfway up, towards the front of the room, exhale down, inhale, halfway up, exhale down, Last time, so this time maybe grab onto your ankle and pull yourselves in as you exhale. Inhale all the way up, hands come together. Exhale those arms down to Anjali Mudra. Look towards your drishti. Inhale as you step forward into a marching position. Once again, flex your foot. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And exhale down to the mat. Shake it out. Good job, everyone. Let's do the other side. Standing into the asana first. Good job. Shoulders are back and down. Find that drishti. Hands come to Anjali Mudra. Come up on that left tippy toe. Draw that left heel to your right ankle, to your right calf, or all the way up to your right thigh. In Vrikshasana A, B, or C. Again, you can also use the wall for this if you'd like to. Inhale those arms up overhead into Talasana or palm tree. Pinky fingers in. Draw those hands together, Utita. And exhale down. Draw that knee to a marching position. Flex your foot. Inhale those arms up overhead into stork. Pinky fingers in once again. Utita. Hands together. And down. Take a giant step back. Put that left foot on a diagonal. Draw those hands back to Venus Mudra, clasping them behind you. Shoulders back and down. Inhale first. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Flat back all the way down. As far as you can. Maybe allow those wrists to fall towards the center of the room with gravity. Draw them back towards your waist. Release. Inhale, halfway up. Look towards the front of the room. We're in pyramid. Exhale down as far as you can. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale down. Maybe grab onto your ankle and pull yourselves in. Inhale all the way up. Hands come up overhead. Exhale to Anjali Mudra. Inhale as you step through into a marching position once again. Hold it, hold it, hold it. tops of our mats. Inhale, both arms all the way up. Exhale, swan back down. Inhale, halfway up. Take a giant step back with that left foot. Walk your right foot all the way to the left. Right knee down, left knee down, left top of foot down. We're moving into resting pigeon, so if you'd like to go down on your backs, you can do so as well. Inhale as you walk those hands back into royal pigeon. You can either take Venus Mudra, draw 
drawing those shoulders back and down or stay where you are and walk those hands forward. Exhale as you humbly bow yourselves, dragging that left cheek down and resting pigeon. Opening up that right hip if you're going down on your backs. Again, bending those knees, slowly bringing yourselves down, crossing that right leg so the right ankle is just below that left knee. Clasping your hands behind that left leg, drawing it in. This is just a different version of resting pigeon, still opening that right hip. But stay where you are if you're on your bellies. Again, this is one of the most healing positions in yoga, releasing any unwanted emotion that you may be storing on that right hip. Breathing in and out. Good job, everyone. If you're on your belly, inhale slowly as you come up, but don't come off on that right hip yet. Bend your left knee. Place your left elbow around your left ankle and open up to spine. Maybe take a bind in mermaid if this is in your practice. Breathing in down. Exhale as you come off on that right hip. Swing that left leg all the way around. Left foot is parallel to your right thigh. Bring that right foot in and that right elbow in. Inhale that left arm up and around. Find that right hip crease. Possibly take a bind. Reach under, find that left hand. We're in the Mariandrasana twist. Releasing toxins. Massaging our internal organs. Again, but you have to remember to breathe and drink lots of water out of your practice. Good job. Inhale as you come back to center. Exhale as you extend that left leg out, moving into Janya Shashasana. Drag that right heel in, sitting up straight. Flexing that left foot. Your knee is facing the ceiling. Inhale, both arms up. Twist to the left. And exhale, hinge at the hips. Reach, 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 reach chin to shin, and then just melt. Again, breathing in to that right kidney, maybe placing your hand on your right kidney. In Janya Shashasana. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you cross over, grabbing that right knee with your left hand, opening up. To the back of the room, keeping that left foot flexed, keep that left calf engaged. Inhale that right arm up and over. Find those left toes if this is in your practice. In twisted Chandra Shashasana, opening up that whole right side of the body. Inhale that left shoulder through. Exhale down one last time in traditional down your shoulders. Just a little easier with muscle memory. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you extend that right leg. Shake it out. Good job. Coming up to the tops of the mats. I think I'm going to adjust this because I realize you probably can't see me. Sorry about that. 
We're in Malasana Yogi Squat. All four corners of our feet are growing into the mat. Sitting up straight, placing the backs of our biceps just below our knees. If this is impossible, use a bolster underneath your heels. But if this is in your practice, lifting those toes, possibly place your hands on the mat in front of you. Come up on your tippy toes, rock back and forth. Moving into Vakasana or Crow Pose, if this is in your practice. Lifting those toes behind you, looking towards the front of the room. Again, staying here as long as you can, building bone density, core strength, arm strength. Or come back to Malasana with us. Inhale from your root chakra to your sacral, the solar plexus, heart chakra, throat chakra, third eye chakra, all the way up to your crown chakra. And exhale down again. Inhale. your hands on the mat. Inhale, halfway up, the heart up. Shoulders are back and down. Take a giant step back with your right foot unless you're going down on your backs. Walk that left foot all the way across. Left knee down, right knee down, right top of the foot down. Inhale as you walk your toes back. Royal pigeon. Take the Mistra. Exhale, lead with your heart. Move down. Right cheek comes down to the mat. If this is in your practice, you can also be on your elbows. You can be wherever you are. You can be on your backs, crossing that left knee, bending your left knee, crossing that left ankle underneath your right knee. Clasping your hands around your right thigh, drawing in toward the hip. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Don't come off on that left hip yet. Bend that right knee. Wrap that right elbow around your right ankle. Open up to the front of the room. In swan. Maybe take a bind in mermaid. If this is in your practice, opening up your hearts as much as possible. Release. Come off on that left hip. Swing that left or that right leg all the way around. Right foot is parallel to your left thigh. Bring that left foot in and your left elbow in. Inhale that right arm up and around. Find that left hip crease. Possibly take a bind in the Mariandrasana twist. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you release that right leg. Drawing that left heel in. Flex your foot. Inhale both arms all the way up. Twist to the right. Exhale down, reach, 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 flat back, chin to shin in Janir Shrishasana. And then pull yourselves in, maybe place that left hand over your left kidney, sending in the breath, keeping it healthy. Inhale as you walk those hands back. Exhale as you cross over, grabbing that left knee with your right hand. Open up to the back of the room. Twisting, releasing toxins, flexing that right foot. Inhale that left arm up and over. Find those right toes in twisted Janya Shrishasana. Breathing in. 
Inhale, that right shoulder through. And exhale, down in traditional Danya Shashasana once again. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, as you release that left leg, shake it out. Make sure that your block is handy. Bend your knees. Arms are out on either side of your knees. Inhale first. Exhale inch by inch. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Down to the mat. And when you get there, draw those knees in for a much deserved hug. Rock back and forth. Massage your lower backs and your knees. Place your heels just below your sit bones. Inhale as you push your hips up. Placing that block, if you have one, underneath your sacrum on the lowest, the second, or the third levels. Wherever you are is perfect. If you don't have a block, this is a supported bridge. You can also do regular bridge by placing those arms down beside your torso, inhaling as you push those hips up. Walk your shoulders under. Clasp your hands in prayer. Push your heels into the mat to rise higher. Watch your belly to rise and fall. And then slowly inhale as you come up on your tippy toes. Release your hands. Exhale, inch by inch down to the mat. Draw those knees in for a hug if you're in a supported bridge. Uh, inhale as you push those hips up, release the block, and exhale down to the mat. Draw those knees in for a hug. Good job. Then moving into an inversion, you can either do like straight up, you can use your block under your sacrum if you'd like to, or you can push those hips up, walk your shoulders under, in shoulder stand, looking like a candlestick, Barbie feet. Breathing in and out. Possibly draw those toes overhead. In Halasana or Plow Pose. We're allowing the circulation to come back down to our vital organs, back down to our brain. Maybe bend your knees, placing them on either side of your ears in ear pressure pose or snail pose. And then inch by inch, vertebrae by vertebrae, coming back down to the mat. Draw those knees in for a hug. Cross that right leg over left, wrap your feet. Arms are out east and west. Inhale first. Exhale as those knees fall to the left. Come over that right shoulder and breathe. Inhale back to center. Unwrap, unwind. Give yourselves a hug. Cross that left leg over right. Wrap your feet. Arms are out east and west. Inhale first. Exhale as those knees fall down to the right. Look over that left shoulder and breathe. Inhale back to center, unwrap, unwind. Give yourself a hug. Inhale through your nose to sigh out. Inhale. One more time. Inhale. And with that intention, allow your legs to come out as wide as the mat or wider. Arms are down beside your torso. Palms are up to receive down the ground. Starting to relax. Relax your toes. Relax your feet. Relax your ankles. Relax your calves. Relax your knees. Relax your thighs. Relax your hips. Relax your torsos. Relax your fingers. Relax your hands. Relax your wrists. Relax your forearms. Relax your 
relax your elbows, relax your upper arms, relax your shoulders, relax your nose, relax your jaws, relax your cheeks, relax your forehead, relax the crowns of your heads, just relax. to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes by wiggling your toes and maybe touching each finger with your thumb. Reach your arms overhead, extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling your lungs with your breath. Then exhale as you draw those knees in for one final compassionate hug, rocking back and forth. Slowly roll over to the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position facing the front of the room. Legs are crossed, hands are at Anjali Mudra, heads are bowed in honor of your practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Monday. Lynn's birthday. Happy birthday, Lynn. Have a wonderful rest of the day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste. Thank you, ladies. Okay, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the birthday wishes. <laughs> Happy, birthday. Happy birthday, Lynn. Thank you. Thank Happy you. birthday, Lynn. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't.